Ah! And ah! 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 So, I know that whenever I think about MAGA pastors, the first thing I think is that, wow, those cowards really aren't willing to strap bombs to themselves the way the good old Muslims are doing to annihilate the gays. Actually, no, I don't ever think that, because that's not a thing that rational people think. But apparently there are some people who think that. We're going to get into that here in a second. But first, let's get into the fan art section, all right? Where there's less of that silliness here. Anyway, this one's from Sandwolf. Cirrus dressed as a Vaporeon, both normal and a shiny version. So, I really, really want my Vaporeon onesie outfit for the model. I really do. One day I'll have it. One day I will. The next one here is from Bumblin Bee. Long time, no draw. I love Bumble and Bee's style. I really do. They don't uh, they don't submit fan art as much as they used to, but their style is really good. Also, for those who don't remember, uh, Bumble and Bee is actually the one that did the first Femsuris model, quote, quote, the one that was used for the April Fool's video for the longest time, uh, the I Feminized My Avatar video. That was Bumble and Bee who did that. Uh, the next one we have here is from Abalon of Babylon. Oh, no, that's a work in progress one. We're moving to the Axel that has cream. Axel says, autoplay coon. They are a lot nicer than the cousin timer coon uh, and tend to do their best to help, but don't really know when is a good time. Hey! You want me to start that video for you? No. No, because the person who made autoplay deserves to have video games taken away from them, so the only entertainment they can ever have is to play in traffic. But that's a radical opinion from somebody who's just really tired of autoplay. Anyways, as always, everybody, thank you all for your fan art submissions. If you want your fan art to be shown in a future video, the best way to do so is to drop it into the fan art section of the Discord. With that said, let's go ahead and get right into today's topic after you hit the bell notification icon and the subscribe button. You know, one day, the guy who actually made autoplay or the girl or the envy, whoever, uh, is going to contact me and say, hey, it was me. I did it. Come meet me at the local quick trip for a fist fight or some shit. So, uh, yeah, no, I, I basically quoted the article. Uh, MAGA Pastor uh, says Christians need people who are willing to strap bombs to their chests, like the Muslims. Far-right Nashville pastor Kent Christmas told his congregation last Sunday that they should harness the dedication that drives Islamic terrorists to want to die for their beliefs. God, you know what I think is sane and rational? Killing myself for a religion. That's sane and rational. Dude, there are people who are knee-deep in religions that will not tell you to do something that abhorrently stupid. But apparently Kent Christmas wants that. I'm going to just go ahead and say right now the real reason he wants that is because people who are willing to die for their beliefs are also willing to donate a lot of money for their beliefs. Because, you know, what else are they going to do with it? I'm not saying it's strictly for a grift to make a lot of money, but, you know... During his sermon, Christmas falsely claimed that the state of Vermont recently passed legislation declaring that it is illegal up to 21 days after full-term birth to kill a baby. Right. You just, you just sit there looking at, like, man, look at that kid. God, they're cute. Can't wait to break their neck. That's not a thing normal people do. Then again, normal people don't also say that we need to have people strapping bombs to their chests. So, ouch. Who am I to say what's normal anymore? As Right Wing Watch points out, Christmas is a Trump-loving pastor and a conspiracy theorist who has repeatedly claimed that God will soon start killing the wicked elected officials. Ah, yes. God, he's just sitting there on his throne. Hello there. My, 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 my name is God. I, I, Yahweh, the Jehovah. That's the person you're supposed to kneel to. That guy in the suit over there. I'm going to death note him. 
Yeah, it's not happening anytime soon. Algorithms have impacted our revenue, blah, 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 blah. That's a thing that they post there. Christmas said, uh, I am at war with the devil. This is the one preacher that is not backing down. I can tell you this. I will give my life for the gospel. Oh, God. My arm is breaking out in... Huh. Well, apparently, my allergy meds only went so far. Now my arm is breaking out from long-term exposure to chip. That's cool. I love my dog allergy. It's my favorite. He then says, You want to know why the Muslim faith has had its advancements? It's because the Muslims are willing to die for their beliefs. They're willing to strap bombs to their chests. They believed in the afterlife. God gives us some men and women that will get hold of some passion in their spirit and say, I will lay down my life for the gospel. He then said, This thing was born in blood. Briar Patch Pumpkin says, the doggy isn't worth the pain. The dog is worth the pain. Period. Anyway. You know, I, I quoted him, but let's see how he actually says it. I want to know if, if I got it right. Let's see here. I am at war with evil. Yeah. Hallelujah. This is one preacher that's not backing down. I can tell you this. I will give my life for the... Okay. Why can't I turn the volume up? All right. The person who set up the codec for this player goes in the same blender as the person who made autoplay. I can barely hear him. Let's see if we can turn him up. Let's do that. Just tech support with Cirrus, everybody. Gospel. You want to know why the Muslim faith has had its advancements? It's because the Muslims were willing to die for their belief. They were willing to strap bombs to their chest. They believed in the afterlife. God give us some... And the afterlife and the Muslims and the holy fucking shit. That is the most obnoxious thing I've heard today. Putting an uh at the end of everything you say. I... I... Holy crap, I, my brain is filled with cinder blocks. I don't understand. Why, why is that getting to me? Anyway. Men and women uh, that'll get a hold of some passion uh, in their spirit. Uh, uh, I can't. I can't do it. I can't listen to the ah uh, and ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. His speech pattern is like a robotic pastor on Futurama. He's beyond satire. I just, I just, can't, I can't, I can't. So why do they all sound like that? Ah, I don't know. I guess they think it's compelling. All it's doing is making me angry. It's like, look, I, I understand there's probably, it might be a verbal tick. I don't know. But when you hear somebody speak normally, when you hear somebody speak normally, and then they put on, the, they put on the preacher voice that you just, you Oh my god, even saying it, it's making my spine do a really, really bad tingle. It's like I'm having an allergic reaction to the fucking voice. Krothic says, I've heard that speech pattern for years from various preachers. It brings back harsh memories. <laughs> it, it does. Like, I just... Okay, look, I, I need to cleanse you. I need to cleanse you. We're going to use that voice for good, Okay. And I tell ya, we're gonna go, and we are gonna worship the one true god, and her name is Thick Thighs. There, it's there. You've got a little bit of, you got a little bit of cleanse. You got a tiny cleanse. It's the only good that voice will ever do in humanity. Jimmy says you don't need to shout. You have a microphone. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm aware, but unfortunately, if I'm going to emulate the, the preacher who's saying, ah, at the end of every one of his statements, then uh, the only real option I... Look, what I probably could do is I could, I, could, I could put the mic over there, and then I could do the shout, and maybe that's better. I don't know, maybe. 
I'm gonna wake up everybody in the house. The uh at the end of every sentence is a southern hellfire and brimstone thing. Heard it every Sunday. Yeah, I it again, it feels like it triggers an allergic reaction in my spine. I hate it. Just be careful you don't think about it too hard, Sirius, and get stunk in that effect for hours. Ah! Somebody get that man some air. Look, I'm going to do another cleanse. We need to do another cleanse, okay? It's very important. Come here, come here. Come here. Closer. Closer. Okay, cool. A little too close. We're going we're gonna to pop up here. Growlithe. Growlithe. I present to you Growlithe. Come here. Come here. This is the cleanse you need from that. Growlithe, do you not like people who say uh at the end of everything? Does it make you angry? Because it makes me angry. This girl doesn't think. He just loves. How you doing, hon? How you doing? Ah, Baby. Aw, she do a smile. She do. She do a real good smile because she's a real good girl. But that's it for that video. That's it for any of that. I don't understand why... Why somebody would have... I focused on the speech thing, but... I think it's probably more important to focus on the absolute back words mentality you have to have to tell a group of people that it's a good idea, actually, to have the level of conviction required to just sewer slide yourself. That's just a, that's a good thing. That's a that's a sane thing that people should strive for. It's it's not, though. It's not. If anybody in his congregation were to go strap a bomb to themselves and pretend they were a unit and command and conquer General Zero Hour for a couple minutes, last minutes of their life more than likely, uh, then I wonder if he would feel personally responsible. Technically, they did what they were asked. They understood the assignment. They're just dead, and now there's a bunch of other people that are dead as well. Or would he condemn them afterwards and say, this is a terrible tragedy. This is not what you should be doing. This is taking the Lord's... This is taking the Lord's design and ruining it. Ah. So can we slip some helium in there and just see what sort of funny happens? <sighs> but anyway. That's about as far as I'm willing to go with any of that. And there's not much more to his video. Uh, there's not much more to the article. There's just wondering why in Todd's Green Earth you would tell somebody to just go suicide themselves, or at the very least, have the conviction of somebody willing to suicide themselves. When I guarantee you this pastor uh, around the time of 9-11 was saying that the Muslims are insane because of this conviction to, to kill themselves. You know, it's consistency. Anyway, let me know. How you feel about this in the comment section below. Hit the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, everyone, insert end of video tagline here.